Renee Alexander, also known as Patrick by his comrades in the fire service, has a long history of providing essential services to the country. During his extensive career, he gained the respect and admiration of a number of his peers, and they made sure to take the opportunity on his 75th birthday to remind him of the effect he has had on the lives of others. For his part, Patrick says he was humbled by the experience. Behold how good and how pleasant it is that today on my 75th birthday, there are so many friends, ex-firemen, ex-police, and all. How more? How much can I express myself to be one of these persons who are fortunate to be here today? Patrick initially served in the capacity of a police officer and later migrated to the firefighting side of law and order. He says he's thankful to have been able to serve his country in these various capacities. My contribution to the police, to the fire service, I'm happy that I could have. And today, as a retiree, I'm happy to have them around. Ex-Deputy Fire Chief Lambert Charles says the fraternity wanted to celebrate the long-serving, dedicated member of the fire service and to use the occasion to plant the seeds of a much-needed association for retired firefighters. He served the fire service for a number of years and retired at a, at a ripe old age. He's now 75 years old and we are assisting him in celebrating that milestone. And it's really consequent because right now we are in the process of uh, putting together a retired fire officers association and Padre is really a spearhead in that direction. Charles says one of the main aims of the Retired Fire Officers Association is to foster camaraderie among retired fire officers. The organization will also attempt to assist the retired fire officers in different aspects of their lives. We're going to um, do things like providing assistance to fire officers, retired fire officers who need that assistance because there are a number of people who are in a condition now that they cannot help themselves, that they probably need things like wheelchairs or medical assistance. And we're going to put in place uh, a system where that we can provide that assistance to them. Additionally, there are a number of us who are, have received a wealth of training and experience as um, during our years of service. And in any other way that the service um, requires assistance, we'll be willing to help, not as full-fledged fire officers or attachments to the fire service, but to provide guidance where and when that is required. Firefighters and police officers used the celebratory occasion to not only raise awareness of the contribution of the veteran fire officers, but forge deep ties among the retirement community of firefighters to advance their interests. Russell Lord for the HDS News Force.